Canada's golden boy, Donnie Lalonde, was the light heavyweight boxing champion of the world when he lost his title to Sugar Ray Leonard. He may have lost the bout, but he made $5.5 million for his appearance. And he gained bragging rights as one of the only fighters ever to momentarily knock Sugar Ray to the canvas. Lalonde's future path was anything but golden. He declared bankruptcy in 2004 after failed land developments in British Columbia. I would like to preface this with one comment, one point. Sure. Am I not the very first Panama Papers uh, subject to do a television interview that was related to this of, of uh, what's it called, um, a public interest? Uh, well, I think everybody else has said no comment. Yeah. I just want to make that clear. Okay. Also, I'm the one who's been hit in the head more than anybody for 27 years, so maybe that's why I'm here. I did land developments as a survival technique after I got out of uh, bankruptcy. It was advised to me by, you know, court, uh, probably lawyers in Costa Rica mm -hmm. that in Panama, the most established, credible firm is Mossack Fonseca. They do the business for the Panama Canal. They are, you know, um, the most reputable, established, they've been there for like 40, 50 years, whatever, and work with them. So I went there, I don't know, one from the other. The Panama Papers have revealed that through Mossack Fonseca, Donnie is tied to more than a dozen companies involved in Costa Rican land developments. Why did you decide on Costa Rica? What spoke to you about that place? In 1991, my wife and I went there with a friend who was doing a windsurfing competition and a teak investment. So we went with him to check that out, decided against the teak investment. As from that point on, I tried to convince my wife to live in Costa Rica. I'm a hippie, I'm from the 70s. I always wanted to live in Costa Rica, Jimmy Buffett, you know, mm -hmm. that dream. Okay. Canadians wanting to retire in paradise. Irrational exuberance, I would say, is what it was at the time. Everybody was flooding to the Costa Rica market, get a piece of paradise, get a piece of the Gold Coast. They were illogical. I had people send me money down I never met in my life. I had people hand me money. Hey, I got $75,000 check. Would you take it? I'm leaving tomorrow. You can tell me what I bought later. Hey, I've got 50 grand. Can you just take that and invest it for me and tell me? You know, it was crazy. In 2006, Lalonde joined with other partners in order to buy what is now known as Howler Ridge, a thousand acres of lush green jungle that was to be a great new community. When will it be done? And how much will it cost? When will it be done? The day it's done, how much will it cost? The amount, what it costs, when we're done, we'll be able to tell you. No idea. Manana. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them have said that it sounds like a, a Ponzi scheme is what right. happened. What do you say to them? It's called real estate development. There's no Ponzi scheme about it. You have to, you have to raise money, you borrow money, mm -hmm. and then if you finish the project with the money, great. If not, you borrow more money. Mm -hmm. There's not a Ponzi scheme about that. Mm -hmm. It's real estate development. Ask Donald Trump about real estate Ponzi schemes. It's real estate development. You win some, you lose some. And how Thanks. much have you lost because of this? I haven't lost anything. Nobody's lost anything. No. Okay. The, product, the mountain's still there. I, I didn't pick up the mountain and run away with it like they suggest to people. It's still there. The company's still there. There's no debt on the company. There wasn't any when I left. I don't know where it is now. But the, the, these will be one of the most successful, most beautiful projects Costa Rica has ever had. The star in the CBC film Lalonde living in Malta, where he trains Libyan fighter Malik Sinead. <laughs>